Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the camera sequencer. So the camera sequencer is when you want to take multiple cameras and render them at the same time, as opposed to rendering a series of frames from one camera, stopping it, and then rendering a sequence of frames from the second camera. The camera sequencer uh, does that for you. So. I've set up a very, very simple scene. It's just a little bouncing ball. And you can see that this in this scene, this camera here, camera one, is following the ball um, along its path. And then it stops at about frame 90 right here. And then this camera from frame 90 kind of zooms in on the ball right there. Boom. Again, it's this camera from frame one all the way to frame 90 and then it stops and then this one picks up the action and then zooms in to the ball and so how do we render this in one go the only way that i know how to do it is by using the camera sequencer and so up here in the windows um, menu you see animation editors and camera sequencer I'm going to open up uh, the camera sequencer. I'm going to put it up here so we can see our, our scene. And uh, the first thing I'd like to do is create a shot. Uh, and so uh, my playhead is at frame one. Uh, and so it is here at frame one. I'm going to go ahead and create a shot. But I'm going to go to the options here, this little square. And um, I'm going to name it shot one. But I'm gonna pick camera one, and I'm gonna go from frame one to frame 90. And then it's going to place it on the timeline here. It's a different timeline than this timeline. It's gonna place it on the current frame, which is one. The, the frame that we have actually, this frame one. So it's gonna place that shot on frame one here because we are on frame one. So let's go ahead and create that shot. And there it is from frame one to 90. Uh, if we had placed it somewhere else, you would see these, these numbers differently. Uh, let's go ahead and create a second shot. Go ahead and create shot options. And let's call this shot two, no big surprise. And let's use camera two uh, with the start frame of 90 and the end frame at 120. 120. Uh, since our, our playhead is at frame one, we just don't want the new shot to be placed at frame one. We want it uh, after the current frame, but I mean, after the current shot, but this needs to be selected. So this select this one and then it'll place it after the current shot. So from 90 to 120 after the current shot, create shot. Boom. There it is. And so if I hit play, uh, you will see that it goes to the first camera and then it switches to the second camera. Isn't that cool? Awesome. And that's that's it. I mean, that's about as complicated as it gets. It's pretty easy. Uh, where it gets complicated is in rendering. Uh, if I wanted to, all right, close this. Uh, my job is done. I want to, mm, let's say, render a play blast. I'm going to stop it here. Uh, and I want to render a play blast. And I say, cool, let's go ahead and animation, playback, play blast. Uh, and I create a play blast uh, of the entire time slider. And let's go ahead and play it. Here it is. Hit it. Wait a minute. It's from camera two. It, it didn't, it did not create the whole sequence. Oh, and so you, there's one more step that we have to do. And uh, it's funny, it, it should just work. Once you have that sequencer done, it should work. But 
you have to do this. Uh, oh, by the way, if you hit the render, if you go through the render settings um, and you set it up for a render and you hit render, you're going to get whatever camera you pick here in the render. Whatever camera you pick here, that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get what the sequencer is giving you. Uh, there's one extra step. Let's go to Windows again, Animation Editors, uh, Camera Sequencer. Uh, and let's say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the playhead over to pl uh, frame one. And you notice that when we went to create the shots, there's another option, Uber Camera. Uh, and what, what, what does this do? When you click on it, um, it will create a camera. Where did it go? It doesn't say where it went. But when you get ready to render, whether you're using Arnold or Hardware 2.0, uh, in, the, in the cameras, boom, you could do the, the Uber camera. Now, I'm going to go ahead and render this quickly out of uh, um, Hardware 2.0. In fact, I need to save this file. Save scene as, I'm going to call it camera sequencer. And then just save it. I'm going to go ahead and set up the render and I'll see you on the other side. So here it finished rendering. Now I'm just going to do a quick preview by hitting the space bar and just previewing, going step by step. Um, and you see that it starts off with the first camera, not a big deal. And then right at frame 90, in fact, I'll go up a couple frames, 90, 91, and then it zooms in. So it, it did work. So now you can take all these uh, um, image sequence, take it into After Effects, composite, it, and render it out. You can also render out a Play Blast from the sequencer. Check this out. One last thing and then we'll be done. Windows, Animation Editors, Camera Sequencer. If you wanted to do a Play Blast, you notice that the Play Blast button is right there. So let's go ahead and render a Play Blast. But uh, let's go ahead and select both shots and hit Play Blast and then see you, we've got a couple of uh, options here. We can do a play blast on the selection selected shots which will separate the shots it will give you a play blast of shot one and shot two play blast all shots it'll give you a play blast of every single shot but separated and the sequence which will give you one play blast of everything and and we will hit this uh, i'm just going to hit it like this and then let it do its thing and then open it up and here's that play blast and you notice that first camera second camera exactly what we needed and so hey guys this is a quick easy way to use multiple cameras multiple scenes multiple cameras set up the camera sequencer render it and then uh, not have to organize each camera with a certain amount of frames. Uh, that's doing it manually and the camera sequencer helps a lot. And so I hope that you liked the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.